we're going to talk about is factorising harder quadratics. Uh, a normal quadratic is ax squared plus bx plus c and this is called the ac method. Normally if this coefficient here was 1 all we would do is find the factors of the 2 here and then make sure they add together to make the 5. Can't do that when this is greater than 1. So what we're going to do is use a different method and what we do, the first thing we do is multiply the 2 times the 2. AC, okay, 2 times 2 is 4. And then we look for factors of 4 that add up to make 5. Well, that's quite an easy one really. It's going to be a plus 1 and plus 4. Because 1 times 4, 4, and 1 plus 4 is 5. Then we'll create our brackets. And if you look at this first of all, 2x times 2x is going to be 4x squared. It's too many. So you need to do this out here. Um, just basically bring the 2 down there, which will balance everything. And then we put our two factors in. Plus 1, plus 4. OK, we're nearly there. Now what we do is look at this, and we've got a common factor there, which is the common factor of 2. So we can take that out. 2 over 2, 2x plus 1. And this one, taking out common factor, x plus 2. That's just 1. So what we're left with is 2x plus 1 times x plus 2. And we'll expand that just to prove it. 2x times x, 2x squared, 2x times 2 plus 4x, 1 times x, x, 1 times 2 plus 2. And I think you can see that's 5x, 2x squared plus 5x plus 2. So we're back to where we started. OK, let's do another one. OK, we've got this one now. 5x squared plus 23x plus 12. Then we'll factorise it. So, first thing, I think what we'll do is actually create this first. Now we'll find out what these factors are here. So the draw is we go 5 times 12 is 60. And now we look at factors of 60 that add up together to make 23. Oh, that's an easy one, isn't it? So it's 20, and it's, I'm going to put the plus on, and it's, say, plus 3. So 20 times 3, 23. We multiply together to make 60, so that's fine. So we pop them in here. Look for a common factor, either in that one or this one. Oh, there's the common factor, it's 5. So we take the 5 out. And that's that one done. OK, let's look at this one. And I think what we do is we solve this one for x. So, same thing again. 1 over 6. Put the 6x there. Another 6x there. And we go 6 times 2 is 12. Positive 12. And then we look for factors which add together to make minus 7 and they multiply together to make positive 12. Well there's not many factors. 2 6's, that won't work. 1 12, no, it's going to be 3 and 4. So minus 3 and minus 4. Minus 3 times minus 4 makes positive 12. 
and when we add them together they make minus 7. So we'll put them in. Now if we look at this we've got a factor that can come out of there. We can take 3 out of this and we can take 2 out of this. Well 3 times 2 will make the 6. So let's do that. 3 times 2. Taking the 3 out of this, that's going to be 2x minus 1. And taking the 2 out of this, that's going to be 3x minus 2. And remember that equals 0, I should have put that there as well. This is of course 3 times 2 is 6, 6 over 6 is 1, so that just becomes 1. So now all we've got to do is either this bracket is 0 or this bracket is 0. I'll do it formally so we can just see how it all works. So 2x minus 1 equals 0. Move this around. So x must equal 1 over 2. Or 3x minus 2 equals 0 x equals two-thirds. So that's that one done. And this is a good method, it's just literally following the sequence. There are other methods which try to make you be a bit more intuitive about how it all works. I think this is quite a nice method to just follow all the way through. We'll do one more example and see how it goes. OK, let's look at this one. 3x squared minus 8x plus 4 equals 0. And we're going to solve it for x. So first thing we need to do is factorise. So we go 1 over 3. Open the brackets. 3x. 3x. Next step. Multiply these together. 3 times 4. 3 4 is a 12. So that's plus 12. Now we look for factors. So we look at this, we found positive 12. We now look for two factors that add together to make minus 8. Um, because it's minus and we've got a plus here, they're both going to be negative. Because a negative times a negative makes a positive. And I think you can see it's going to be negative 6, negative 2. Minus 6 times minus 2 is positive 12. OK, so we'll put those in here. Common factor, it's this one. Take a 3 out. A quick check, we'll look at this. Minus 2 times minus 2 is plus 4. We've got the 3x squared there. We've got a minus 2 times 3 makes minus 6 and an x times minus 2 makes minus 2x so that gives us our minus 8x. So it works. Of course that equals 0. And this is 1 so off we go again. x must be 2 or x equals 2 over 3 done.